What's going on plugins welcome back to another video in today's video I'm going to talk about Cooper flag and his college recruitment before we get into this video Make sure you drop a like and if you're new here sub to the channel and become a part of the family now Let's get into the video Cooper flag is considered to be one of the best players in high school regardless of class He was ranked second by ESPN in the 2025 class, but he recently reclassified to the 2024 class He was supposed to be entering his junior season, but now he'll be entering his last year of high school basketball Most people are not shocked by this decision after the amazing the summer he just had he dominated the nike ybl circuit he finished the peach jam averaging 25.4 points 13 rebounds 5.7 assists and 6.9 blocks per game he had one of the greatest peach jam performances ever during the nike ybl circuit is where he started getting a lot of media attention every time you went on social media you would see some crazy stats or highlights he also earned mvp honors at the national basketball players association top 100 camp so now that Cooper Flag is entering his last season of high school basketball, it's almost time to make his college basketball decision. Every Power 5 college in the country is recruiting him, but it looks like only three colleges will have a real shot to land the 6A superstar, and those colleges are Duke, UConn, and Kansas. His mom said he'd be making these visits to these colleges in the fall, so it looks like this would be Cooper Flag's top three. He hasn't officially dropped a top three or a top five list, but the assumption is that this will be his top three list for college. The college that has been rumored as the heavy favorites for months is Duke. All crystal ball predictions have Duke as the heavy favorites. He already took an unofficial visit there when he was on his way to the Steph Curry basketball camp a few weeks ago. He has stated that Duke is his dream school and he would love to play there. John Shire has made it a priority to get Cooper Flag to commit no matter what and is making a hard push for him. Everyone is saying that he would be a lock and he's going to commit to Duke no matter what. And I was thinking the same thing, like it's no way Cooper Flag is going to any other school besides Duke, but now that he's taking an official visit to UConn, things are going to get real interesting. They are a real threat to get him. If Cooper Fleck decides to go to UConn, he will be closer to home, and who knows, maybe staying close to home might be a big deal for him. UConn is a solid program, and they won an NCAA championship last season. The last time Duke won one was in 2015, which was a long time ago. So UConn could make a recruiting pitch to Cooper Flag like we just won it all, and if you come here, you'll win a national championship. If UConn can somehow pull this off, this would be huge for the program to land a top three recruit in the country, and they have been doing well recently. Their 2023 class is ranked fourth. So all roads are leading to Duke, but UConn could be that roadblock standing in the way of them landing Cooper Flag. The third college he'll be visiting is Kansas, and honestly, I feel like he won't be committing there. Maybe when he takes his visit, he will fall in love with the college, and he will shock us all and commit there. Bill Self will have to make a great recruiting pitch to convince him because it's looking like it's a two-horse race between Duke and UConn. Kansas is on the outside looking in. Out of all the three coaches, Bill Self is the best coach, and if Cooper Fleck decides to go to Kansas, it will probably develop his game better, so who knows, maybe Kansas might be a good fit for him. As of right now, it's no set dates on when he'll be taking these visits. All we know is that he'll be taking them in the fall. So Cooper Flag's recruitment is heating up. He'll be playing his senior season at Mount Verde Academy. He played his sophomore season there. During that season, he had some good performances, but he wasn't dominating, but he was solid. He averaged 9.8 points, 5.2 rebounds, 3 assists, 2.2 blocks, and 1.6 steals per game. He was shooting 55% from the field and 38% from 3. But the way he has developed his game, it looks like Cooper Flag is going to have a crazy senior season. I'm expecting him to dominate the competition. I can see him averaging 20 points, 4 blocks, 10 rebounds, and 5 assists per game. Drop in the comments which I think his stats will be. If any more recruitment news comes out, I will keep y'all updated. What college should Cooper Flag pick? Is Duke still a lock to land him? Drop your opinions in the comments. Drop a like on the video and sub to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications so you know when I drop videos. I appreciate y'all and I'll see you in the next video. Till next time.